it's still December 10th and another indoor winter project I'm gonna do here. Uh, I'm gonna sand all this stuff off as I got a cheap 95 cent piece of uh, one by four, or it's actually one by six from Menards. And what I plan on doing is making a copper hanger coat rack using copper pipe. Now, I had a problem finding something. I mean, this will sit like this, which is fine. I'm gonna have five of these, but getting a piece to fit in here was a problem. This is the closest thing I could find and it's threaded. So the plan is, after the holes are drilled and I don't have a 9 16 drill bit, but I have a half, so I'm hoping that works. This is half. Um, since this, this is threaded and this is not, so I'm gonna try to sand this stuff down. Hopefully I can thread it into the wood as deep as I need to. And then hopefully this will just slide off and glue right on. I did glue the cap on. I use Loctite and it's working pretty good so far. After I sanded the sides even and got rid of the numbers, I uh, took the electrical sander and kind of flattened the corners here a little bit. And now I'm just using 100 foot 50 grit sandpaper by hand to kind of round everything off. I'm not going to go to grit any finer than that. I kind of want it to have a rough looking uh, edge to it and plus it'll help the polyurethane stick to it better. Since I don't have a big enough bit, I've been just drilling and working my way around as I do it and I'm pretty much there. I should be able to just screw this in right now or pretty soon anyway. All right, this is clearly not working as well as I had hoped. As you can see, in order for me to sand down the steel threaded uh, joint I had, I kind of damaged the wood a little. Um, and it took me a lot of effort to get this on, and it's basically glued holding it, which is not what I wanted. So what I think I'm gonna do is I originally brought these uh, copper um, bits, and the plan was to kind of put them inside here until they stop moving, glue them, and then uh, um, put them in that way, but they're too small. So what I think I'm gonna do, since I have 3 8 drill bit, is drill down, glue it in, and then even though this has a lot of wiggle room in it, I think it'll be okay if I glue this onto that and that should hold it and I shouldn't have to go through this again. But you know, this is an experiment and uh, I think I can make it look decent though. All right, so what I'm just gonna do for the rest of the day today until I figure out how to do this is I'm just gonna put the uh, these copper caps on the ends of these like I did here, they glue really well. And I'll just like that. I'm gonna do that and I think that's gonna probably likely be it for today. All right it's December 12, 2017 and this is the uh, <laughs> copper coat hanger again and um, I have found out see, this doesn't sit very well it's not very tight this one's better but what I've decided to do here is, like I said before, I put the copper plugs in, glued them. But what I did is I, then I took a clamp, or not a clamp, a pliers. And all I did was squeeze them like this. And now, it should just be a matter of pounding that on. So that should work really well. You know how that goes too. So here we are on December 16, 2017. It's 15.30 and finally that's done. Um, I tried to line it up with pre-existing holes in the wall because somebody went and drilled into my wood. Um, and I think I got it. I heard <laughs> cracking on one, on this one when I put this in. But um, yeah, this seems to be doing pretty good. It's on there pretty, pretty tight. So, time to put some coats on, see if that works. The screws are just spray painted copper, because as we found out, you can't copper plate zinc screws. 